Welcome back to the garden. And I just remembered just in time that um, the new moon is on Sunday night. And this is a very exciting new moon. This new moon is in Aries. It means it's at the start of the astrologic year. You know, Aries is the first sign in the zodiac. So this is our, our new moon time. It's going to be at 931 Central Daylight Time. That's in the evening. And it's first new moon, like I said, of this astrologic year. Now, how can you maximize that energy? Because it's one of the things we've talked about before. We've had Dorothy Morgan on before, who's talked about using the phases of the moon. I will link to her site below. She did a really nice presentation uh, yesterday, I do believe, about all the new moon things that are going on and how to use it and all the planets. And she puts up the chart and does all that. So I'm going to give you kind of the verbal walkthrough of how to use this new moon. Now, if you think about it, uh, if, if you've ever read a farmer's almanac, it always said to plant your seeds in the new moon. And we do that in our spiritual and our personal lives when we write our lists of intention at the time of the new moon. Uh, we need to plant things that we want for intentions, for personal goals, and for our aspirations. And since this is the first new moon of the beginning of a whole new astrologic year, and I think everybody can sort of feel the energy lightening, it's going to be a great time to tie into that and use it. And what would you like to create? That's the question. Just sit down and go, okay, what am I thinking about? What am I thinking about my personal life? And Lord knows all of us are going to have a very different personal life this year than we had last year, since last year we didn't have one, except to be alone. Uh, and what are we going to do in our professional lives? And a lot of people's professional lives have been turned upside down due to career changes or finding out the way you work changes and a lot of things like that. It's been a very spiritual time. When I'm doing readings for people, I'm getting oh, from a lot of people that this has been a really interesting year for their own sense of personal growth and spiritual growth. And also, what do you want emotionally? you know, if that's where you want to look, what, do, what would you like to have happen emotionally in the coming year? Write out just a few statements about what you'd like to have happen. That's your intentions list. It doesn't have to be, have some ooey gooey thing at the beginning, and it doesn't need to have some very prayerful this or prayerful that. If you want that, that's fine. The only thing I would tell you at the end of your intentions list, always write this or something better, because sometimes we sell ourselves short. And I I think I'm going to be doing a couple of shows about our self-talk and how we sell ourselves short from what we can really accomplish in our lives with what we've got to work with now. Uh, this sets up kind of the energy for your year. I looked back, I have some notebooks where I would write out new moon and full moon things. And I look back and the things I started in those those years um, are the things I found the one where I decided to dye my hair purple. That was my goal by the next new moon and I did it. I did it on my birthday. Um, and anyway, it's, it's, it's just a good way to kind of set your wheels turning. Also spring, I think, is the time of year when we think about where am I going to go? What am I going to plant? How's my life going to look? So it's a good time to start doing that. Um, you deal with the issues that come from inside yourself, what to start and what to solidify. Those are the strong vibrations that are working right now. Now, this new moon is boosted by Mercury, Chiron, and Venus. Mercury is really close to it. And it's, um, it shows, it's, it's the planet for ideas and visions. So that's really important there. Venus is kind of fun. Uh, when it's in um, Aries, it's very active, um, and it's sort of uh, the, the glam, the sparkle in your life that you can bring in there. And Chiron is there, too. And for those of you who, you know Venus and Mercury, because if you went to any elementary school, you know about that. Chiron is actually a planetoid. It uh, it's, comes from the Kyber Belt. Um, it's sort of like a Pluto-sized place. And... Chiron was, in mythology, the wounded healer. He was wounded and he managed to heal himself. So Chiron, being so close to this new moon and a new moon intentions list, would be there to help you figure out how to heal your wounds and just maybe look at some wounds and say, 
I don't want to work with this now. There are times in our lives when we just don't need to be digging stuff up. It may be now that you're not locked up so much or you can get out a little bit more. You do want to start working on healing some of those wounds and getting rid of them because those wounds won't heal themselves without some attention. I can tell you that much. Uh, when you light, when you do your list, some things you can do is you can light a candle like the one I have back here. I lit it since I was going to be talking about this. That's quite kind of an action. When I light candles for people and I get requests sometimes from people, you know, something's going on and I'll light a candle for them and I'll say, you know, to the universe in a prayerful way, you know, whatever is going on around them to help them get through it. And I just let that candle burn to the end because in the church I went to, if you lit a candle for someone, you let it burn to the end and that candle kept re-upping the prayer or re-upping the request. So that's what I, that's why I've got that there. Um, for those of you who know a little bit about astrology, you know that Aries is a cardinal sign and cardinal doesn't mean like they're all red, like cardinals, and that doesn't mean they belong to a baseball team. What the cardinal is, is the beginning. And that's what it meant in Latin was the start of, or the person who could initiate things. That's why they have cardinals in the Catholic church. And the Pope is sort of the super cardinal. Um, and uh, there are people who can initiate things and run things. And so it's also for those signs, there's cardinal signs, which are Aries, Cancer, Libra, and Capricorn. And when the new moon falls, in one of those signs that's partnered to you by being cardinal, it has more of an effect on your life. And I'm not going to go into all the angles and all of the whatsoever, but if you're an Aries, you're going to feel an influx of energy at this time, even more than other people are feeling. If you're a Cancer, you're going to be uh, really having some things accelerate in your professional life. You're going to have some things really move ahead in your professional life. If you're a Libra, you're due for relationship upgrade. So if you're writing your list of intentions and relationships on the topics, this would be a good time to hit the universe up for a, a, an upgrade. And if you're in Capricorn, it's to upgrade your home and your hearth and those, those folks closest to you uh, for physical comfort. Um, and if you don't know how to write an intentions statement, you write the intention as if you're doing it now. Like if you were um, in Aries and you wanted an influx of energy, you would say, you would thank the universe for bringing all that wonderful energy towards you. That's what you'd be doing now. And uh, I'm not going to go into all the angles and all of the other planets. There's some cool stuff happening with Mars and Jupiter on that day and stuff. But you can go to Dorothy Morgan. She did a great presentation. It's not, as, not a long, long drawn out thing. She, you can see the chart if you're interested in that. I have a friend who tells me every time I start talking about trines and squares and angles, she thinks she's back in geometry class and she just clicks it off. So I'm not going to take you there. Dorothy will take you there, but she's not a hardcore geometry teacher either. She just goes into how it fits into your personal um, astrology. So it's NH Astrologer Dorothy Morgan. I'll put her link below so you can go to that show. Anyway. I'm going to pull one card out of the Moonology deck, which is by Yasmin Bolin. And you can see it's got little moons on it. I'm going to pull a card and see. It's kind of our thought for today. Today is Friday, the 9th, before the 11th. And um, this gives you a little bit of time to work on your list. You really have about 12 hours around a moon to work on it. I've also read from some people who say you have a couple days, just whatever whenever you can get around to writing up your list and thinking about this. But give it a try and see what happens. And the card I pulled today is, ah, balance your spirituality and practicality. And this is the full moon in Pisces, which is, we've had a while ago. Um, but the message today is to balance the spiritual and the practical. So see, see how that works for you. And um, I'll be back this weekend. I've got, a, I'm teaching a class on, for Diane on her members channel, but otherwise I'm going to be doing a couple of other presentations. Next week, 
I'm going to have another artist who was inspired by seeing what I did with grids. She came up with her own take on it. It's absolutely gorgeous. I'm also going to be doing something I do believe with Sheila Celtic Tarot. I have to get her complete schedule yet. I want to thank Danny Shea for coming over and visiting and visiting in the garden. And he and I are thinking about doing uh, some more readings like that. I'm also looking for suggestions from people of what you'd like to see me talk about. I have some suggestions for stones and crystals. Um, if there's something else you want to talk about, or if you say, I, you and Danny, you like the past life thing, could we do more into different sorts of readings other than the typical readings you see done, you know, like hearts and flowers and will I make more money, that kind of reading. If you want a specific sort of reading, trust me, there are readings for everything. So um, if you have a particular interest or want to know about a little bit about something else, we'll be doing that. I'm also going to be talking about, I've had, oh, I want to thank all the people who um, sent me quick notes about um, the, the seemingly heart thing I had Monday um, to tell you exactly what happened not, and not bore you terribly. I got up in the morning, I stood up, I walked across towards the kitchen and my heart went up to beating 186 beats a minute. And I know that because I wear monitoring stuff. And um, it went down just almost immediately. And I, of course, turned, talked to my doctor who I had an appointment with scheduled with this week anyway. And I went in and they did a more thorough scan of my whole body and they scanned my carotids and they did an EKG. And among other things, I have carotid arteries that would be the envy of a 25 year old. Apparently I have like no plaque at all. And the guy who, the doctor who was interpreting the chart went back to make sure that he read right, that I was the age I was. Um, so medically, there's no real clear explanation for what happened. Um, I know what happened. I'm working on a major project. I've been getting download after download after download of information of how to bring this energy. It's going to be a tool to help people learn how to focus their spiritual energy and get ready to move up in the energy scales. Um, I'm going to have more talk about more about that because I spoke to uh, an Akashic Records expert and we kind of pinpointed what's going on here. It's real interesting. It's real good for me, except apparently I came out of 5D too fast. So it was like a crash landing into my body. And um, I learned a whole lot of stuff. I, I don't know like a whole lot about the ascension. I know that I feel energy shifting. Apparently... I'm caught up in the middle of it, like we all really are. And um, I may have some words of warning for you about going forward with that, but I'm gonna wait until I can really do a whole show and I can be clear and be thinking about it very well. I do have a few openings for readings. If you're interested, I've got some openings next week, then the week after that, I'll be building grids and then I'll be doing readings again and build and for grids or just if you wanna know, just wanna know what's going on around you. That's where I started was doing tarot. Uh, I want to thank everyone who's joined my channel. I picked up a few more people. It's slowly, slowly right now, but I understand from talking to other people, this is the slowly, slowly growing time of year. And um, that's kind of everything I've got to say about today. I look forward to hearing your comments. And I want to, once again, I want to thank everybody. I want to thank Kim. I want to thank Sheila. I want to thank Andrea. They put out kind of little thoughts and prayers for Nancy, I had a couple of other readers privately just sending me messages of, of upgrading and light, love and light. And you can never have too much love and light, even if you have the world's cleanest carotid arteries. So I'm going away and I hope you enjoy this recording. And if you have any questions, ask me. And if you want to know about readings, contact me through my email and I'll send you the price list. Thanks. Bye.